So in this video we're going to be learning how to build a simple notification system so whenever somebody likes one of your posts or when somebody mentions you in a post we want to send you a notification when that happens. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is create a new table and we're going to call it notifications. We have the ID field first, we're going to leave that alone. Then we want to get the notification type, then we'll set a type for notification type. We're going to leave it as an int to allow us to have lots of different types of notifications. We don't want it to be null and we're going to leave it unsigned. Then we want the user ID of the person who received the notification. So we'll say receiver, we'll leave that unsigned and we don't want it to be null. The sender is going to be an int as well and it's going to be unsigned and we're not going to let that be null either. So now we're ready to start sending notifications. So before we send notifications, we want to be able to receive them. So we're going to create a new page and it's going to be called notify.php and we're going to click save. We're going to copy our index page, just paste it in notify and we'll just delete all this. And we'll delete these because we want to know if the user's logged in and we don't want to show their timeline. We don't want to show it. We want to delete comment. We'll delete post and that should be us. And what we want to do is create a query. So we'll create an if statement and we'll check if the query is successful first. And user ID is going to be our user ID. So here we're selecting all of our notifications and we're putting in an if statement to check that it worked. And if it worked, we're going to get the result of that query. We'll just copy the query again, store the result in a variable, call it notifications, and it's going to be equal to that query. And then we're going to loop through that. We're going to say for each notifications as n, we'll just say. Then we'll echo out n type. So we'll get nothing printed out initially. So if we go to notify.php, you can see we get nothing out. But that's okay because we haven't actually sent any notifications yet. So we'll go to post.php and here and here when we create a post, we want to send a notification if we need to. So we can copy most of our link add function like this and we can create a new function above it and we'll call it notify. We could create a separate notification class and we might do that if our notifications become substantial enough as in we start sending lots and lots of different types of notifications. But for now, we'll just create a notify function and we'll paste in that. So at the minute, these two functions are the same, but when, instead of creating a new string, so we'll delete that. And we'll delete that because we could have two different types of notification. And here we have a new string. We're going to call this notify and it's going to be an array. And then here what we're going to do is get the username of the person who the at symbol points to. So we're going to say notify and we're going to use the square brackets to say notify word to get the username. And we're going to say, for example, one because one is going to be the notification type. And if the notification type is one, then we know it's an at mention. If, for example, somebody likes a post, it's going to have a notification type of two and we don't actually need the hashtags because we don't get notified when a hashtag is used. And then what we'll do is return notify. So when we create a post, so we're going to say if count self notify post body doesn't equal zero. In other words, if the number of items in the array returned by self notify is doesn't equal zero, then we have some notifications to send and self notify is because self means we're getting it from the class we're currently in and post body is the body of the post that we want to check. So now what we want to do is loop through all of the items in the array that's returned. So we'll say for each self notify post body as n. In other words, for every item in the array, we're going to refer to it as n. Then we're going to run a query. So we'll say db query insert into notifications, the values. The first one is the ID, which is auto incremented. So we'll leave that out. The next one's the type. The next one is the receiver and the next one's the sender. So here we want to add the array type is going to be the value of the item in the array, which is going to be n. the receiver is going to be the person who receives the notification. So we'll just call it R and the sender we'll just call S. So up here we want to actually define the variables S and the variable R. So we'll define S as the person who sent it which is in this case, the person who sent the post, which is going to be logged in user ID because that's the person who wrote the post. So S is going to be logged in user ID. And here what we're doing is we're assigning N as the value from the item in the array. So what we could actually do is change this to as key and use this arrow operator and point that to N. So in other words, this is another type of the for loop in PHP where we'll be able to store the key in the key variable and the value in the N variable. So now we can say r is equal to the user ID and we can get the user ID because now we have the key, which is the username. So we're going to say r is equal to another query, select ID from users where username equals 
username and username is going to be equal to the key from the notifications array and here we want to get the only item returned which will be the zeroth index of the array that's returned and we want to get the id field from that so now we have the user id we store that in r we have s which is the logged in user id so now we should have everything we need to store a notification so we aren't actually passing any text so we'll just say text and we spelled notify wrong somewhere so that should be it if we check now we'll go to our notifications table there shouldn't be anything in it you can see there's no senders or receivers now i'm going to say at i code hello i'm going to click post so the reason for that error was just simply because in our notify function we're using word which includes the at sign so what we want to do is use the substring function to remove the first letter and we'll try this again if we click post we get no errors we go to our notifications table we refresh and now we have a notification id of one the type is one because that is the type for an at mention the receiver is how code with the id of three if i go to users you can see how code has an id of three and sender has an id of one because that's who i'm logged in as if someone tries to use an app mention of a user who doesn't exist we don't want to insert that as a notification so what we'll do is we will say if r equals zero then we'll surround this and we actually will just say if r doesn't equal zero so so long as the r variable doesn't equal zero in other words so long as the user exists we're going to send them a notification i'm going to refresh and we'll test one more time if i at mention myself i click post you can see there we go if i go back to the notifications table we should have another notification and if i go to notify now and i refresh you can see i have a one printed out because i have one notification and if i just print out n which is going to be an array so if i use print r we can see there's the notification i've just received so that's it for this video in the next part we're going to be displaying notifications on the notification page but that's it for this video don't forget to like comment favorite and subscribe don't forget to follow us on facebook twitter and reddit and i'll see you next time